Now, I can't make this skeleton stand with its feet up, you know, like oh, we had yeah. yesterday in the lesson. So I'm just going to do this. Oh, um, what I do a lot, and this this goes back to what we've been, this is, a, you know, still on the theme of the pushing through the feet, right? So you've had the person, you've maybe done something in assessment in the beginning, you've worked on the rotation. By this time, you've pretty much determined what their diagonal relationship is, right? Like whether they're more dominant between the right hip and the left shoulder or the left hip and the right shoulder, okay? Let's just say you've been able to determine that by the rotation in the pelvis, by some of the assessment, okay? And then you have them on the table, and we'll practice this. <clears throat> and they're sitting here, and you're working, you're working in the neck, and you're doing all of this. And then you say, I'm on your first rib. This is your first rib. Really? That's my first rib? Yes, it is. Wow. Can't believe I've got a first rib way up there. Oh, you do. And your upper lung is just underneath there, and it's amazing. And so what you do is you say, well, can you bend your right leg? And then they bend their right leg, and actually both legs. So both legs are bent, and then you say, um, I would like you to push your foot into your right leg, and I would like you to push me here. Right? I would like you to send it was for everybody to pair up, right? And then I'll go around and I'll say, yeah, you know, you can feel it or not feel it. So, so, uh, so you've got this. Now, I do this right at the end because I've already determined, you know, that this was the KV inside. <clears throat> so this ended up being the side where also the occiput, you know how they always have the right-sided um, suboccipital muscle right in there? <laughs> needs you to grind out or something because, you know, that's where the headache. Well, it's because it's not being supported. Right? So you, you start to help them get this idea that you're supporting the head and that if they hold the head up more from down here, then they don't have that muscle that's doing that all the time. And that that often goes kind of along with the, this. Not always, because sometimes there's a twist involved and then it's the other side. So, so anyway, so they push through the right leg and they try to get up here, right? And look at where the skeleton is. This is why I love having a skeleton in my room because I say to them, I say, you know, actually, you don't have to lift your bum up off the table. You don't have to do that. Some of you were doing that yesterday, you know, like when I was saying push through and try to. So um, you don't have to do that because your skeleton and the weight of your skeleton is actually laying on the table. It's all your fundamental movement stuff is actually right here. So what you have to feel like is almost like you're like a turtle head. You know, you're actually kind of like driving your head out of your shell, right? And so stay on the table. Stay down and think about where this is. And they'll do it on one side and they'll do it on the other side. And I guarantee to you that it will be easier for them to do it on the side where their dominant diagonal is. And then you say to them, you know what? That's a problem. So now what you need to do is you need to go home and you need to think about pushing off that leg and using that side more and you know holding up your head because of it and all of that. And that's different than telling them to do this and stretch out the neck and do all this kind of stuff and they don't any questions?